and it's about a balmy 32 degrees at Carport Forge here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today on the agenda is a nice, beautiful cross made from horseshoes. Forge is going to provide our warmth today. I think the idea is for the guys to go ahead and get everything lined up, get a square, and then we'll start to do some tack welding. Hi, this is Mac Barnes with Carport Forge, and today we are going to teach my buddy, Captain Strom, how to make a cross out of horseshoes. I've got one on my wall. Um, and it's pretty cool. Now the concept is measure twice, cut once, and things be good. Math. It's all about math. And so what Chris is doing, he's marking out the center line points because as you can tell, you know, when you're stacking up horseshoes, you say, oh, you do it like this. Well, is it straight? Is it straight? Ah, math will show you the way. What you don't want to do is do all this tack welding and then your wife says, that ain't straight. Take it down. You do not want that to happen. Other artsy type people, they say, it's art, it doesn't have to be perfect. They are wrong. It must be perpendicular and square. That is a lot, that is how, when you make it a cross. Gravity does not lie. That's right. Well, it's 12 o'clock in Nashville, and you know how I know that? Because the sirens are going on, tornado. Nobody ever hears those things. Is that their test? Yeah, they test at on 12 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, so, what we have here, as you can tell, we are lining up everything. Uh, problem with, since I don't have a welding table, and if you want to make any donations to the uh, Carport Forge welding table, please send it through way of Impala Man. We have to uh, have a flat surface. It's a little off. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll make it work because it's art. It's straight. Though. You sure? He's got a green line on here. He's got it, he's got it straight. Where's well, that green line straight? Now the problem is, is yeah, it could be touching, but it's got to be straight here. Yeah. So the problem is, is here in the middle. Okay, it's got to be mm -hmm. perfect. And when I mean perfect, let me ask you this question. What? I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boggle your imagination with mm -hmm. this statement. What? Are the horseshoes perfect? They come from tractor supply, so therefore they are perfect. Ah, that's a valid point, yeah. Impala man. And hey, it's art, right? You know, it doesn't matter if it's straight. I think this is just off a of smidgen. You it's, see these it's things gonna here? Be, it's going to be Chris's. He's going to make the decision. You see these holes here? You want these holes to line up? Yeah. Perfect. And that's that's the real trick. Oh, also, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to uh, polish and grind out where we're going to do our tacks. Oh yeah, we, we did do that, didn't we? Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do? Start over. <laughs> it's is uh, start over. You just need to do the tips. Yeah. Take well, a little, take a pin. We're gonna pin and mark. We're gonna mark where they need to go. And then, yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a little more aggressive with the uh, metal cleaning here. I'm just gonna go ahead and break out the, uh, the bench grinder and uh, make things go a little faster. All right, we're gonna do them one at a time, and when we get everything cleaned up, we'll go ahead and tack weld them. So turn this heater back on. Am I getting cold? Yeah, my, my toes are getting frozen. Actually, I just now noticed that. And you know what? My wife is going to be very happy that you did this part. That's good. That's 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 how we're rolling. 
small dog grinder or you got a dremel all right since we're Paint it and stuff, make it look pretty. Okay, cool. That's mine. <laughs> so, just uh, yeah, so I'll send you an invoice with Chris and we'll uh, settle up, you know. <laughs> All right, this is Mac again here at Carport Forge. We have finished up, things are held together quite nicely. I want to give some advice here. When you're welding, do not get a cheap helmet. Get a real helmet. Spend about 150 bucks. <laughs> it makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, go, go show them the helmet. Uh, the helmet that yeah. you want to use is this. It is wonderful. Pay the money. Pay the money. It's 150 bucks. Don't buy the $50 one. Just spend the money and your life will be so much easier. Uh, because what it does is it speeds up the process. Second thing, you don't really need a welding table, although it is better. I'm cheap. Uh, this is, I put this, my wife had this idea. It worked out well. Uh, we did all the welds here. You always do a two hand lift, okay? Because it, you know, it can still break. We uh, ground it out, hit it with the uh, uh, grinder right here. Uh, you have this slag here. Now, if you're using flux welder, it's gonna be nasty. If you have gas, you know, it's not nearly, it's not messy at all, but hey, you know. And then you just get your, uh, yeah, you know, flathead here, and you chip off the places, all this slag. You know, try to clean it up best you can. Angle grinder, good sandpaper, hit it. You know, t take your time. Uh, now, the real trick now is, did the wife like it? You know, he showed it to her, she likes it, so it has the wife's approval. So what we're gonna do now, it, it's about 29 degrees out here, 30 degrees, so. That's our heater. Yeah, that's our heater right here. So 
Could you just spray paint this right now? Yes. No, you cannot because it's cold. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this in, bring it up to room temperature by the fire, heat this up too, get it nice, nice and warm. Come out here. I'll hang it up. We'll spray paint it both sides. You know, make it look real nice. Uh, let it set. Bring it back in when you're mounting it. Of course, the best thing that you do is uh, you put your nail right here. Always have a couple points. You know. Where, where are the best? Like so, I always put it right here. Is it square? Is it perfect? Well, that's for you to decide. I could sit out here and measure and be picky about it, uh, but it is art. Now, if I were to do this again, uh, what I need is a welding table that's metal. I'd have lines drawn. It'd be perfect. A jig would be good. A jig. So uh, that's Mac Barnes here from Carport Forge, and. Uh, as I tell my students, Mr. Barnes, out. All right, I've got the cross all done here, sitting in front of the fire and letting the paint dry. Looks pretty nice indeed. All right, so the uh, black coating here is Rust-Oleum American Accents. It gives a really uh, satiny, very smooth finish, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with that paint. All right, turned out to be a beautiful Sunday. It's going to be about 45 degrees today. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Had a great time here last night. Well, that's all for this weekend, folks. Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, don't forget to click that little bell down below. You guys have a good one, and remember to enjoy creating something new and interesting in your own carport.